Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to test out this Thermacol makeup cover foundation. I'm going to apply it to my face and take you guys throughout the day and see how this uh, foundation will last on my face and how would it perform. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. foundation from eBay and it shipped from UK and it was $13 a little under $14 and this makeup claims to be waterproof SPF 30 hypoallergenic and it claims to be very full coverage and it's um, it says it has 50% of the pigment in it so normally you know like normal foundation would have like I think I believe it's under under 20 pigment inside of the foundation. This claim to have 50% of uh, uh, pigment in it. So it's a very, very full coverage. Uh, this is a um, 30 gram of a tube difference. You look probably pretty, pretty tiny, but I know this, you only need just a little bit to cover your entire face. So left, face i'm going to use the uh, uh beauty uh, sponge and another half i'm going to use a kabuki brush and see which one works better 218 yeah it's a 218 and i'm about nc 25 maybe in the winter 2025 20, um and in the summer i will be nc 30 so we'll see how the shades goes on my face i already put moisturizer on and i'm not going to put any primer under it because i just want to see just purely how this this foundation will work so i'm not planning to put on any powder to set it either if it's not sticky or tacky um so yeah i just want to purely test it out how this foundation would work on my face uh plus my skin right now i would say it's normal to um combination dry in the winter because um normally i'm combination oily or like sometimes the t-zone can get very oily in the summer but in the uh, fall and winter it kind of feels a little dry especially like the side of my nose and stuff so it comes with this tube and then you have that little puncture stuff on the top you see kind of like a you know a medi medication thing now you just punch it and you get a little hole I think that's great because I know this foundation only needs a little bit every time so this is the best way to really kind of feels you can control how much you're going to use i'm only going to use that much for my entire face i don't know if you can see it's right here the shade right now looks like a little darker than my skin tone but sometimes you know when you put on your face it will be um better i think the shade actually is going to work all right, I literally only use half of what that dot is on my face. And right now I'm going to use the beauty blender to really blend it out. Wow. Okay, so this is half of my face that applied with the beauty sponge. This is, I would say, like you can see a little darker, kind of like blemish uh, skirts can actually peeking through a little bit. But from how little I used and from how wet my sponge is because it soak up a little bit of product too, I'm pretty amazed about the coverage actually. The half of this face I'm going to use a um, brush. So let me dot it down. The consistency is very moussey and uh, very thick. So there's no runny, no liquid filling. It's very, very thick. It's kind of like a cream, even thicker than cream. Okay. Uh, Sigma F40 Kabuki brush to spread it out. Okay. 
All right, you certainly get more coverage from the brush side. And when you get really close, you can see it blend very well both sides. You can't really see any brush stroke or anything on the brush side either. So it's very blend very, very well, basically both sides. But you definitely get much more coverage on the brush side. But somehow I like the finishing of the sponge set a little better. I don't know because if this moisture kind of like give my skin a little moisturizer feeling and feels a little kind of like a setting finish can you see so it's not a matte foundation it doesn't make me mad and uh, i mean of course i wouldn't say it's a glowy foundation either but it's a very nice setting finish especially when you see from the from the sponge side this side tends to be a little bit more more matte but certainly i wouldn't call it a matte finish either because you still can see this a little bit of like a like a you know a light heat on my cheekbones right here i don't even think i need any um actually concealer i think i'm good let me see if i add just a tiny bit under my eyes would it be cakey just to try it out it's not concealer by the way i was just using the foundation i just dab my finger on the side of the tube Wow, this is really just a little bit goes a long way, guys. Don't use too much. I'm absolutely happy with the coverage I have right now. Whatever I have right now is basically I don't need any any more coverage than this. I don't need any more of the um, concealer. I think this just looks very, very fine, beautiful. And uh, actually, even though you go really close, where my nose easy to get cakey and like sometimes very thick you can see from this foundation it doesn't it does not from both sides no matter it's the the sponge side or it's the nose uh, the brush side both are fine and sometimes it will get weird between my eyebrow like you will have some cakiness right here mm -mm very smooth and fine now the only problem is i will see if it will last long enough on my face for me to not not put primer right now i don't feel very very tacky i feel a little bit sticky just a little bit i don't know if it will finally sit but i'm not going to use any um powder I don't think it's that sticky that I can't handle. So I will just let it be. So right now it's 10.30 in the morning. I just finished up my makeup today. Uh, there's nothing really going on. It's very rainy outside. So yeah, and this is, this is a waterproof. So we'll see about that. Um, I don't have much going on. I will just run a couple of errands. Probably we will go outside definitely for meals and all the stuff. And I will check in like regularly and see how this foundation goes up. So when I was applying the rest of my makeup, by the way, today I'm using all kind of like cream product. I use a cream blush and I use the uh, uh, cream highlighter. Mm, so because I didn't want to put powder on top of the foundation without setting it with any powder that's why I, use, I go for all cream uh, cream product on my face so right now i'm seeing while i'm applying i still can feel a little bit of that stickiness so it's not completely dry but so far it does not stuck inside of any of my fine line of my nose between my eyebrow looks really good and everything looks really really good even though i'm like super super close so there's nothing stuck and the shade 218 i think is perfect it's really really good for my skin tone all right so 10 30 right now and i will check back in a few hours okay see you guys later but i just want to show you guys the bar it's like really cool it looks like an old factory and it's a very cool atmosphere we sit in the booth and outside you still can see those like posters cool stuff hey guys just checking in with you guys right now is three o'clock so four and half an hour after i put the uh, foundation so during this uh, four and a half an hour i went to eat i eat a huge burger so around my face the foundation 
around my mouth so the foundation could rub off a little bit. Can you guys see it? But other than that, everything kept it very well. The nose area and everything looks good. I do feel a little bit oil peeking through though. So, and plus I still feel a little bit of like kind of a, you know, a, not sticky, I wouldn't say sticky, but it's still, it's not completely dry or anything. So, anyways, I'm about to take a nap, you know, as a 35 weeks of pregnancy woman, all I want to do is sleep and eat. That's what my husband said. Sleep, eat, and shop. That's all I want to do. That's very true, though. So I'm going to about to take a nap right now, and we will see uh, after nap or wrap over the pillow and all that how it will last but so far so good hey guys right now is nine o'clock in the night and from when i picked up the foundation to now is ten and half an hour yes it's quite a long time normally i don't think i would wear makeup that long but today i was just like i don't want to put, take it off then um you know like normally i would just wear uh foundation makeup for like um seven hours seven to eight so i'm pushing it to just test it out how good this foundation is i already had a dinner and i told you i took a nap like uh, so i have done everything i've been very brutal to this uh, foundation i did not blot even once i did not reapply anything on my face like nothing and um right now when you see very very close on my face you can see the nose like between the nose the foundation has been completely rubbed off because you know i was just eating wipe it off when i have run nose and all that stuff so i always rub my nose so here this part of the foundation has been completely off other than that nothing it stay on very 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 well but i gotta tell you guys one thing though I feel this foundation never, never gives me a powdery finish. It would have a, I wouldn't say it's sticky, but it definitely feels some moisturizer feeling on it. It's very, very weird. So, I mean, of course, I didn't sit with powder, but it's still, like, I always feel somewhat moisture in it. So, it's not a complete, never been completely dry. And I used the, the foundation as concealer on the, my eyes. So, it was a little thicker than the rest of my face this morning. And I see even very close to see my under eyes there's nothing has been tucked in or like there's nothing has been sucked in my fine lines and all that and you can see the this part my t-zone does get oily and that does get oily i think quite early i think it's about that five hours mark four or five hours mark i already start to feel there's oil peeking through but nothing is like non-controllable and that the oil didn't really break the foundation in other words the oil never being like like move the foundation around my face so everything was staying in place but definitely there's oil peeking through and uh, there's no oxidizing so whatever color i saw on my face this morning i think it's exactly the same color uh, overall i'm really really happy with this foundation with the price with the amount that i'm gonna use for that little tube i think it can last me like forever but next time though i'm going to try to either put a mattifying primer under my t-zone area or i'm going to put a setting powder on top now i will see how that would work with this foundation throughout the day would be control the oil a little bit better and all that yeah but overall i'm very 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 happy with this find i really love this foundation and i probably will update on the description box below if i use a powder to set this foundation in another day and test it out i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up or uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i always have some updates throughout the week okay so until next time you guys have a great week bye I really like the foundation too and the, the liquid lipsticks so other things are just uh, 